So now, this circuit's my first attempt at making a sample and hold circuit using the uh, 741 op amp integrated circuit. And so, the reason why I say it's my first attempt, even though I'm showing it to you and am going to explain what a sample and hold circuit is, uh, it needs to be improved. And uh, I'll go into a little bit more on that uh, coming up. But in any case, what we're going to do is we're going to take the voltage of this input, this trim pot here. Right now it's turned up to the positive rail here. So the output here will have 9 volts. And then that comes this jumper to this switch. The other side of this switch is attached to the uh, positive side of this electrolytic capacitor. This has a uh, polarity. It needs to be inserted the right way. The uh, negative side of the capacitor here is connected to ground. Positives over here. It's connected to the non-inverting pin of the uh, 741 op amp. So what this does is uh, when I hit the switch, watch this LED. When I push the switch, you see the LED comes instantly on right now. And even when I let go of the switch, it just stays on. That's uh, the point of this circuit. We got a voltage to uh, the uh, non-inverting input and it's, it's holding there. So we can sample what that is when this circuit is uh, set up right. And uh, now all we have to do is hit this switch and it discharges the capacitor and it uh, resets this circuit. So now of course the point of this circuit is uh, to sample the uh, voltage. So as I said right now the trim pot's 9 volts. We instantly charge the capacitor to 9 volts so the LED comes on and uh, technically it's supposed to have about uh, 9 volts. It should have the uh, same output as the uh, input is here. And uh, so it holds it. It's holding it right now about 9 volts. We'll discharge it. Now I'm going to set the trim pot about halfway. So this will give us about uh, 4.5 volts, about half of the voltage along the rail. And also, I want to note before I do this, now it goes through half the resistance of this trim pot. This is a 5 kilo ohm uh, trim pot. So now that we're halfway away from the positive uh, rail, we're going to have half the resistance of this trim pot. It's 5 kilo ohm trim pot, so about 2,500 ohms. So you're going to see the uh, first off the LED doesn't get quite as bright because we're using uh, 4 volts now instead of or about 4.5 volts instead of about 9 volts uh, and it had to go through resistance so that cut down the current it took longer for the capacitor to charge so it took a while for the uh, voltage to build up on the uh, non-inverting pin but as you can see now it's holding it the capacitor is holding at about 4.5 volts so the brightness of the LED is holding about that. If I turn it to 9 volts, of course, it gets a little bit brighter and holds there until we discharge the capacitor. And uh, this jumper here goes to this switch to discharge. It's also on the uh, input of the uh, non-inverting pin, as I said. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the problem I have with this circuit, which is why I say it's my first attempt at doing the circuit after this video. I'm taking this apart. I'm, uh, I'm done with this for now. I need to improve on it though. So when I turn the light off, uh, you may be able to better see that this LED is already glowing. We'll set the multimeter to measure voltage. And first, I'll show you, I hit the uh, discharge uh, button for the capacitor. And you can see we have uh, 1.9 volts coming out of the uh, output. I can touch any ground spot with the black one. The uh, red probe is touching the resistor where it connects to the output. And now we'll measure the capacitor. As I said I hit the discharge button a couple times. It's about zero volts. And uh, the output should be the same voltage as the non-inverting input uh, voltage. And it's not doing that. It's about two volts off now. Now I'll charge the capacitor to the battery voltage. The battery is actually a bit below 9 volts even though it's a 9 volt battery it's a bit older it's about 8.74 volts and uh, right after I hit the button the uh, capacitors about uh, 8.5 in that range it's a little bit lower than uh, the battery there we go about 8.6 
and it goes down because of leakage. Over time capacitors lose the voltage that they're holding. Uh, generally it's uh, fairly slow, uh, some more than others. But in uh, any case, it's going to slowly go down, but it's holding about steady, and that's keeping the uh, LED on. Now, as I said, we had about uh, 8.5 volts at the uh, capacitor. Now the output here is only about uh, 7.6. We'll give it a fresh charge. See what it is right after you hit the button. And again, it's only about 7.6. So we're about 1 volt off uh, when we have a charge. And that's a problem. We want the uh, output to be the same voltage as the input. And as I showed before, it's even worse right after we turn it off. Capacitor is about zero and uh, we have a two volt difference here enough to get the LED to light up. So I need to make improvements on that. Uh, I think I need to adjust the offset nulls. I gotta learn how to do that. Haven't done that yet. But in any case I was able to show how the sample and hold circuit works but the uh, sampling part should be the voltage of the input uh, being represented by the voltage of the output. The voltage should be the same, but uh, the hold part I was able to demonstrate.